tell us about your music and the role that music kind of played in your life. You know what? I'd, I'd like to hand you the guitar too, so yeah. stay right where you are. But that's got some miles on it. I think boy. you need to be holding the guitar for this. That's got some miles on it. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna get this thing fixed up. I know a guy that over by Ironton. Now, this is an old silver tone. It's actually a collector's now. It's it's got a super neck on it, you know. And when I come out of the service, of course, I played a little bit of guitar. A little flat top, not a flat top, but a, like a harmony guitar before I went in the service. In fact, I took my guitar with me aboard ship. And we would take it off and we'd go play the honky tonks in Japan. A couple of southern boys. Yeah, honest to God. Really? And some of those Japanese guys, they could speak, they could sing English just perfect. They couldn't talk English, but they could sing English just perfect. Because they know. just knew the words of the song. Yeah, yeah, and they really could sound, imitate people. I mean, it was really pretty cool to go to those clubs and, you know, have them sound like all your country western singers. How many people know that you used to play music in bars in Japan? <laughs> I don't think anybody. <laughs> Probably nobody. A little sake and a little picker. You know? So did you... Um, where did you learn how to play the guitar? Well, my mother kind of taught me. She could play a little bit, and she taught me how to, how to do some picking. And then when I had a milk route, I found a mandolin. There was a straddle in, and it was a, it was a, it was a Gibson inlaid pearl. I wish I had that now. They wanted 50 bucks for that, and the little one the mandolin, they wanted 15, so I bought the little one. And I started learning how to play a mandolin. And I see a mandolin is tuned like a fiddle. But you play it with a pick instead of a bow, see? Okay, yeah. It's got, you know, eight strings, two, four, six, eight, you know, four strings, four sets on there. And uh, I learned how to play that. So I wanted to learn how to play a fiddle. I got an old fiddle over here somewhere, but, but I just couldn't get that bow going. But anyway, this, my neighbor, Johnny, and I, and, and another guy, and Jim Foltz, we started this band, you know, picking and Do you remember the name of it? Yeah, well, I started actually with Bobby Stafford and Clint Wheeler, kind of how I can remember these names. And we called ourselves the Fitgerland Band. Spell that. Fitger, Fitger Beer. Oh, F-I-T-G-E-R. Yeah, Fitger Beer, yeah. And then uh, knock on the door for Beverly, so tell her to ask her that other the band. Our old, our old band. See, I got, it's got to not tip my tongue. Hey, Beverly. Besides Fitgerland, is that what it was? Can you remember the name of uh, Gary's Kingsman? The band? Kingsman. The Kingsman. Yeah, the Kingsman. The Kingsman. That was our, that was our band. That was real. We really had a good band. They called the Kingsman. We and even what had a. What kind of music did you guys <laughs> we play? We played country, country swing. Any bluegrass? We play old time stuff too. No, no bluegrass. No. No, we didn't play the bluegrass, we just played old country stuff, but we played shoddishes, polkas, waltzes. We played the dances stuff, you know, for dances. Sure. And then, and then we had a good singer, Jim Foltz. And then were you we a had, singer as well? He was a singer. No, yeah. were you? No, no, no. I could find me a melody so a little bit. So you were bit. the guitar player? One of, one of the guitar players, but I did, I did a lot of the guitar rhythm, background music. We had a drummer named George. And then we had, uh, now we had a new singer. After Jim left, we had a, gym, a new singer came. Uh, he came in, uh, like it was uh, Oscar Shogren. It was Johnny's brother. And he did a really good job, too. So, And then we had George, Bur George uh, was our drummer for, I don't know, four or five years. But we had a four-piece band that was really, really good. We could have went to Nashville. <clears throat> no kidding. Oh, yeah, we were that good. Do you have any recordings of you guys playing? Well, Johnny has some of uh, just of him and his gal now. They're not, not, no, we don't have any. We never did do that. So the music has just filtered away into the night yeah, and it's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our brother Jim sure. bought me the first big Fender Super Reverb with four tens in it. I mean, so that that's a collector's item right now, the big Super Reverbs. You don't have that anymore, Yeah, do I have that. Oh, yeah. you do? Oh, yeah. It's in my closet, yeah. Cool. And I have my mandolin too, my original mandolin. So I used to, they used to love that 11 o'clock, I'd play the hoedowns with that, see? You know, the, all the fast music they liked, you know? We just turned that baby up and just, they just loved it, so. Do you ever 
play just for fun now, or is it just kind of more of a memory? I haven't for a while. My fingers have been bad. At, you know, I haven't got no calluses on my fingers anymore, and I had a little something underneath my fingernail the last couple of years. A little, when I'm little, you see them little grubbers on TV that goes underneath your fingernail? Oh, yeah. And I've had it this year. I'm so lucky. I just keep my fingernail back, but I haven't got had any practice. So, but Johnny's been after me, so to do it. So, but yeah, this old silver tone here, man. This here's had a lot of beer spilled on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a recording of you guys yeah. playing music. That would be the. Yeah, we played uh, the wagon wheel up here. We played the rustic bar. We played. Played uh, oh, up in Longville. We played all different places. Yeah. So you traveled around a little. Oh bit, yeah. Too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get down into the Twin Cities at no, all? No. 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 Was oh, it was all up in this part of the, this neck yeah, of the yeah, woods? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And we didn't make any much money in those days because we never made it. You know, the bars had the Saturday night or New Year's Eves and stuff like that, special occasions. You know, for weddings and stuff that we would make. You know, a lot better money. Did you just love? Playing music was yeah. a big part of your life. Yeah, yeah, we'd play. I mean, three nights a week, plus diet guide or whatever else. You know, oh yeah. And Beverly, you know, at her brother-in-law's at Merrifield, there the wagon wheel. Uh, she was a waitress there. So yeah, we get a babysitter and for the kids, and then pretty soon Lori was big enough to babysit herself, babysit the kids, and fight with the kids, the boys. So that's what we did. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Beverly. yeah, she didn't. Beverly didn't like that smoky bar, though. She does not like that. All the hollering and all the people rude. Some of them are rude, but yeah. most of them are pretty good. Most of them are really pretty good. They love, yeah, they love that country, dancing music. You know, 